But before the game, the Padres honored the two latest to be inducted into the team's Hall of Fame, Larry Lucchino, former president of the Padres from 1995-2001, and CBS 8's very own Ted Leitner, who was the voice of the Padres. Both were given these plaques to congratulate them and cement them into the Friars Hall of Fame forever. But as great as the ceremony was, our guy Ted almost ripped the plaques down, revealing them. But it's okay when you're a Hall of Famer. You can do what you want. But here are both of the newest Hall of Famers during the ceremony. This is a beautiful city with uh, warm and friendly uh, people, and it deserves to have a first-class team, baseball team, and a first-class baseball facility. You have both now, and I hope and I know you appreciate it very much. Thank you to all of you, all of you. You never needed me. I needed you, and you were there for me to tell the Padres enough good things that I could stay with them and have this career. Thank you for being here today. God bless you, and go Padres. Great speeches. All right, before all the tonight's festivities, John Howard had a chance to sit down with Ted and discuss his career and what the induction means to him. First of all, let's start with the phone call you receive that you're being inducted to the Padres Hall of Fame. Who did you get the call from, and what was your reaction? John, it's just the singular greatest honor in my professional life, and that's no small thing. All these people who helped me get there, I, I have, uh, I've been so blessed, it's ridiculous. Peter Seidler, the Padres owner, called me. My favorite, John, uh, was at the end when he said, and Ted, I, I, I asked one thing of you, one favor. I said, Peter, anything. And he said, in your address to the crowd, would you hold it? If you can, under 75 minutes. <laughs> and I thought, oh, Peter, you've met me. High deep right field. That's fair. It's gone. And it is going and gone. Home run, Anthony Keith Quinn. Take us back to when you first started doing the games. How did you get started doing it? Well, see, that's another thing. I, I never made up a resume in my life. I've been so blessed and so lucky all the way back to college. And then the same thing here. Jerry Coleman was offered the manager's job and went from the uh, broadcast booth to the field. And the games at the time were at KFMB Radio. So again, no audition, no resume, no interviews. You got the job. That doesn't happen all the time. It's happened to me so many times. And it was, it was wonderful, just wonderful. And there I was. And 41 years later, after 35 of them with Jerry Coleman, who I watched play with the Yankees uh, as a kid. And I can't go by without introducing Mr. Ted Leitner, one of the best broadcasters you've never heard. He's great. It's just so, my entire career has been pinch me. Is this actually happening? Because as you know, I can grab about 15 sound bites out of one Ted Leitner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we call John, we call them word hemorrhages. The one, two pitch, outside corner, strike three call, 500 saves, 500. Uh, your thoughts about going in uh, on Thursday with Larry Lucchino? One of the great privileges of my life to know this man, to call him friend. We had a good relationship and he's just brilliant. He is the father of Petco Park. We won't be standing in Petco Park Thursday without Larry. On the top of the Channel 8, what do you miss about that uh, form of broadcasting? Especially, and I feel like I'm pretty qualified to ask, since I'm now sitting in the chair that you used to sit in. John, what I miss most when I think about it is the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ted, we appreciate your time and uh, really enjoy the evening Thursday night being inducted. It's a well-deserved honor for you. I appreciate it, John. Thank you so much.